Noted for their slowness of movement, sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down in the trees of the tropical rainforests of South America and Central America. They are considered to be most closely related to anteaters. There are six extant sloth species in two genera, Bradipus, which are three-toed sloths, and Coloepus, which are two-toed sloths. Despite this traditional naming, all sloths actually have three toes on each rear limb, although two-toed sloths have only two digits on each forelimb. The two groups of sloths are from different, distantly related families, and are thought to have evolved their morphology via parallel evolution, from terrestrial ancestors. Sloths are so named because of their very low metabolism, and deliberate movements. Sloth, related to slow, literally means, laziness. Their slowness permits their low-energy diet of leaves, and avoids detection by predatory hawks and cats, that hunt by sight. Sloths are almost helpless on the ground, but are able to swim. The shaggy coat of the sloth has grooved hair, that is host to symbiotic green algae which camouflages the animal in the trees, and provides it nutrients. The algae also nourishes sloth moths, some species of which exist solely on sloths. Sloths are in the taxonomic suborder, Folivora, of the order Pelosa. These names are from the Latin, leaf eater and hairy, respectively. Pelosa is one of the smallest of the orders of the mammal class. Its only other suborder contains the anteaters. The Folivora are divided into at least eight families, only two of which have living species. The remainder are entirely extinct. Sloths can be 60 to 80 centimeters, 24 to 31 inches long, and depending on the species, weigh from 3.6 to 7.7 .7 kilograms, 7.9 to 17 pounds. Two-toed sloths are slightly larger. Sloths have long limbs and rounded heads, with tiny ears. Three-toed sloths also have stubby tails, about 5 to 6 centimeters, 2 to 2.4 inches long. Sloths are unusual among mammals, in not having seven cervical vertebrae. Two-toed sloths have five to seven, while three-toed sloths have eight or nine. The other mammals not having seven are the manatees, with six. Sloths have color vision, but have poor visual acuity. They also have poor hearing. They rely on their sense of smell and touch to find food. Sloths have very low metabolic rates, and low body temperatures 30 to 34 degrees Celsius, 86 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit when active, and still lower when resting. Sloths are heterothermic, meaning their body temperature may vary according to the environment, normally ranging from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, 77 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but able to drop to as low as 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. In most mammals, hairs grow toward the extremities. Because sloths spend so much time with their limbs above their bodies, their hairs grow away from the extremities, to provide protection from the elements. Sloth's fur hosts symbiotic algae, which provide camouflage from predatory jaguars, ocelots, and harpy eagles. Because of the algae, sloth fur is a small ecosystem of its own, hosting many species of commensal and parasitic arthropods. There are a large number of arthropods associated with sloths. These include biting and blood-sucking flies, such as mosquitoes and sandflies, triatomin bugs, lice, ticks, and mites. Sloths' limbs are adapted for hanging and grasping, not for supporting their weight. Muscles make up only 25 to 30 percent of their total body weight. Their specialized hands and feet have long, curved claws to allow them to hang upside down from branches without effort, and are used to drag themselves along the ground. On three-toed sloths, the arms are 50 percent longer than the legs. Sloths move only when necessary, and even then, very slowly. They usually move at an average speed of 4 meters, 13 feet per minute, but can move at a marginally higher speed of 4.5 meters, 15 feet per minute if they are in immediate danger, from a predator. While they sometimes sit on top of branches, they usually eat, sleep, and even give birth hanging from branches. On the ground, the maximum speed of sloths is 3 meters, 9.8 feet per minute. Two-toed sloths are generally better able than three-toed sloths, to disperse between clumps of trees on the ground. Sloths are surprisingly strong swimmers, and can reach speeds of 13.5 meters, 44 feet per minute. They use their long arms to paddle through the water, and can cross rivers, and swim between islands. Sloths can reduce their already slow metabolism even further, and slow their heart rate to less than a third of normal, allowing them to hold their breath underwater, for up to 40 minutes. Wild brown-throated three-toed sloths, sleep on average 9.6 hours a day. Two-toed sloths are nocturnal. Three-toed sloths are mostly nocturnal, 
but can be active in the day. They spend 90% of their time motionless. Sloths are solitary animals, that rarely interact with one another, except during breeding season, though female sloths do sometimes congregate together. Baby sloths learn what to eat. By licking the lips of their mother. All sloths eat the leaves of the scropia. Two-toed sloths are omnivorous, with a diverse diet of insects, carrion, fruits, leaves, and small lizards, ranging over up to 140 hectares, 350 acres. Three-toed sloths, on the other hand, are almost entirely herbivorous, plant eaters, with a limited diet of leaves from only a few trees, and no other mammal digests its food as slowly. They have made adaptations to arboreal browsing. Leaves, their main food source, provide very little energy or nutrients, and do not digest easily, so sloths have large, slow-acting, multi-chambered stomachs in which symbiotic bacteria break down the tough leaves. As much as two-thirds of a well-fed sloth's body weight consists of the contents of its stomach, and the digestive process can take a month, or more, to complete. Three-toed sloths go to the ground to urinate, and defecate about once a week, digging a hole, and covering it afterwards. They go to the same spot each time, and are vulnerable to predators while doing so. Considering the large energy expenditure, and dangers involved in the journey to the ground, this behavior has been described as a mystery. The pale and brown-throated three-toed sloths mate seasonally, while the main three-toed sloth breeds at any time of the year. The reproduction of pygmy three-toed sloths is unknown. Litters are of one newborn only, after six months gestation for three-toed, and 12 months, for two-toed. Newborns stay with their mother, for about five months. In some cases, young sloths die from a fall indirectly, because the mothers prove unwilling to leave the safety of the trees, to retrieve the young. Females normally bear one baby every year, but sometimes sloth's low level of movement, actually keeps females from finding males for longer than one year. The average lifespan of two-toed sloths in the wild, is currently unknown, due to a lack of full lifespan studies in a natural environment. Median life expectancy in human care is about 16 years, with one individual at the Smithsonian Institution's National Zoo reaching an age of 49 years. Habitat is limited to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. On Barro, Colorado Island, in Panama, sloths have been estimated to comprise 70% of the biomass of arboreal mammals. Sloths' lower metabolism confines them to the tropics, and they adopt thermoregulation behaviors of cold-blooded animals, like sunning themselves. The majority of recorded sloth deaths, in Costa Rica, are due to contact with electrical lines, and poachers. Their claws also provide another, unexpected deterrent to human hunters, when hanging upside down in a tree, they are held in place by the claws themselves, and often do not fall down even if shot from below. Sloths are victims of animal trafficking, where they are sold as pets. However, they make very poor pets, as they have such a specialized ecology.